Great day, beautiful people. It's your girl, Lashana with LE Style. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where, of course, I believe that beauty is first and inside job. And of course, being a 53-year-old content create creator, my life nor my style is being defined by a number and I believe it's never about age. It's always about stage. So with that, let's get into the reason why you're here. Of course, we have another wig unit on deck. Today it is a lace front from the brand Outre. No, this, um, this video is not being sponsored. I did purchase this wig with my own coins. Um, but today we are going to be focusing on this wig right here. It's called Elena. And of course, I will show you more details about the unit once I get her all packed. Um, I did purchase this wig off of Amazon. And of course, I always, as always, I will be leaving a link uh, for you uh, to this unit. Um, this is a better picture of what we have going on here today. And this is um, just from their lace front line. Uh, the style again is Elena. It is 16 inches. It comes in many colors. Of course, I will leave those for you below. Um, but this particular color that I have is DRFF4 Buttered Toast, which basically is this, what the model has on, has on right here. Yes, I am smiling at myself as I have been venturing more and more out <laughs> with these colors, but you know what? I have actually been enjoying them. I am a number two girl. I am a number two dark brown girl. I, I'm gonna say all the time. I don't care what kind of wig it is, of course. I'm gonna always, I believe I would always enjoy number two. At least that has been my experience. That is the closest to my natural color. Um, so it's like a safe zone and we all know that we have preferences and it's really just a matter of preferences But Outre always does such a wonderful job with these color combinations And when I seen this on the particular model, I say, you know what? This this is how I feel about it. It's just a wig y'all. I mean, I'm not dyeing my hair this color I'm not doing any of that um Definitely not, not an option. But I will be more apt to go ahead and try out a unit, of course. And I'm still trying to just get a couple of pieces off here so I can show you a nice close up. So look at the color combination. Um, it's different. Again, it's called Buttered Toast. It looks to be, um, because of the color, it says DRFF4 Buttered Toast. So the four is basically, I'm gonna say the roots, which is this part, of course, that's the number four. And then it looks like we have some Honey Blonde and some Platinum uh, all blended in. But Outre, again, they do such an amazing job with combining these colors and blending them so well. Again, the unit is 16 inches. Um, the parting space appears to be about five inches. Um, I'm hoping I will not, and I believe I will not have to, of course, pluck the part. Um, this is HD transparent lace, as it states, and of course it is heat resistant um, up to 400 um, degrees. So. That's what we have here. We have the standard construction of the cap, which is two combs in the front, of course. We have this comb right here in the back. We always have the adjust, uh, adjustable straps on both sides for you. But in T ways, um, this is the unit. So what I am going to do, of course, I'm going to do a quick try on of the unit and um, Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and try it on right quick for you guys. And we're gonna see how this thing is fitting on my big head. So hopefully it is big head friendly. And of course my edges are slipped a little bit. I have my hair in corn rolls. I neglected to let you guys know that the unit does have some baby hairs. So, and my mirror, I kind of moved my mirror a little bit over here so it wouldn't be, so I wouldn't be totally looking to the side. Okay, y'all, this, oh, I got a lot, a lot of room. 
a lot, a lot of room um, in this. So I am loving that. Okay, y'all, look, this is, this is great. I don't get this too often where the wig is pretty much coming like completely to my hairline on the side. So it is definitely big head friendly. Um, really, really big head friendly. So guess what? We're going to go ahead and as I stated earlier, I don't believe that I am going to have to pluck the part. It doesn't appear that I would need to, but I think what I am going to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab my um, lace tint spray and I am going to spray the underside of it and tint this lace and then I am going to, you'll see all of that. You'll see everything that's going on with the unit, of course, and then at the end after that, you're going to get my the final look, of course, and my final thoughts about uh, the unit. So stay tuned, guys. with the final look and of course my final thoughts um i like the wig i do um I, this is what i like about it the most i love the color combination uh, as i will say over and over again Utre gets it right with these color combinations the combinations are bomb they're just beautiful they're really flawless with that um, the wig has a lot, a lot of flyaways. I have been nipping even off camera. Uh, you saw me nipping some of the flyaways on camera, but I've also been nipping, um, uh, you know, with my little scissors here, some off camera. The part was a little crooked. I tried to straighten it up the best that I could. I believe is, 
you know, as best that I'm going to get it or even try to attend to it. So, um, but I did this, this is what I did, of course, and this is what I used, although I did have all of that on camera. I put tinted lace spray on the underside of the wig. I use um, this Wrap Shine Foaming Lotion around the hairline, um, around the baby hairs. You guys know I'm not big time with those. I did not, per se, um, use the gel to really stick the baby hairs down, but I did use some of my balm uh, hair gel. Um, the reason I used the Foaming Lotion, I actually got that from uh, Kia Roshan. Um, I believe that's her name. I'll leak, leave a link to her channel. You probably already know who it is, but I saw her use it and I like the look of the hairline once she used that. But just to kind of soften up the baby hairs, as you can see, they're here, but they're not like plastered on my, my head, but just to soften them up. So, you know, you can kind of push them back and kind of blend them, um, you know, into your uh blend them better in with the wig is what i'm gonna say so this is what we're looking like on the sides of course i didn't use any freeze spray so of course you can kind of see the lace a little bit there um lifting up a little bit but as y'all know i'm not tripping about that you of course you can do more you can um you know, tack them down um, with some free spray or some glue or what have you. But I mean, I don't mind the way that the hairline looks. I think the hairline looks pretty good. I think that even more so on this side looks more natural. Um, I like the way it looks around the hairline. I like the lace. The lace is supposed to be HD transparent. It was a little white cast. That's why I decided to use my free spray. And um, I did not do this on camera, but I ran and got my um, Aquanet uh, Extra Hole hairspray just around like these parts right here where um, I had more of the flyaways as I am snipping still a little bit. And just to kind of leave my sides like you know, like I have them here. I just sprayed like a little bit of hairspray just kind of to tame it um, down just a little bit. Not a whole bunch of it. Um, and of course, y'all saw me use my hot comb here just because it was a little humpy right here. So I just took the edge of it and just, you know, just kind of flatten it out just a little bit. Or you can use a wax stick. I have my wax stick here too, but I didn't use it. So let me go ahead and give you the 360 um, of this particular unit. Um, and these sides, I kind of had to roll them because they're kind of like a little unruly. If you could see this, this one more so than this one, this one kind of rolled up better. Um, I mean, it's like, almost like, what am I supposed to do with these the side over here so anyway this <laughs> this is what we got going on here but we have the front of course the left side we have the back and I will put it all to the back for you so you can see there of course we have the the right side and of course we are back to uh, the front here. So you guys let me, know what, let me know what you think. Will I say that this is my favorite? No, absolutely not. Um, I feel like I'm gonna have to mess with, mess with this wig a little bit more than maybe I want to. And it's all about preference. Like I said uh, a moment ago, as far as I don't know what to do with these sides, so I've been playing with them to kind of get the side to look the way I want. Okay, that kind of looks better over here now since I kind of did that. And I have my mirror kind of right here, so that's why I'm looking over here as I'm trying to play with it a little bit. But um, I think once you get it set, like if I wanted to spray this with hairspray and all of that to keep it, keep it from moving all over the place or whatever, I could probably do that. I do like the length of it. The length is pretty. The, the, again, this, this color combination, y'all, it's just, 
I just love it. I, I do. I, I like what Outre does with this color combination. It is just really just fabulous. And again, it's called DRFF4 Butter Toast. Um, so this again is the wig cap, not wig cap, the card, and this is Miss Elena. So I'm loving it. I'm loving it for how it looks, you know, at the end. I think this is the type of wig that you could wear um, casual, dressed up. You know, I, I believe you can even do it every day, to be honest with you. I don't believe it's too much. You know, it's not real big and, you know, it, it has a presence to it, especially in this color. So I think I think she's a good wig. She did not take a lot, a lot of time. I love the way that the hairline looks, the parting space. Um, the only, my, my biggest con was the flyaways, of course, and then just on the sides, like, this is just me and I'm, uh, this is just me. This is just me with uh, a preference with how the sides are kind of, you know, kind of rolled here and they're just not laying exactly like I would prefer, but it does not discount the wig. The wig is a, is a nice wig. The price was like, I believe it was like $25. $24 and that was even on Amazon y'all so I would definitely leave everything linked for you below everything that I use for this particular unit you guys please chime in and let me know what you think and I would also like to ask you to let me know what you think about this lighting I've been trying to work on my lighting as I have started using some like I'm using a camera now as opposed to my phone um, I really haven't switched my lighting up as far as what I had. I'm just playing, adjusting the lighting. So I'm trying to see what works, what doesn't work. So you guys chime in, please, and let me know. Um, what's your thoughts about the lighting of this video, maybe compared to the previous video, which means, of course, you're going to have to check out the previous video. But let me know what you think about it. I would truly appreciate it. And another thing that I would ask, if you're new to my channel, I would like to ask that you would please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I am on my way to 1K subscribers. Hallelujah. I am almost getting there. Um, it's taking me a little time to get to where I am now, but I am thankful. I am grateful and I'm thankful for the tribe of people who have already subscribed to my channel. So please hit that notification bell as well when you subscribe so you can be notified of new videos that I will have coming on to the tube. You will be the first uh, of course to know. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. I just want to close out by saying, um, I appreciate you guys very much. Always, definitely, I appreciate the support. And of course, I always pray for you that you will continue to be safe and be blessed. And of course, that you would locate and uncover and discover the purpose in which God created you so you can start to live an intentional life, a life that is fulfilled in every way. So that is my prayer for you, um, that you guys will go on and have a wonderful, blessed uh uh, rest of your day. I was trying to think of something that I say all the time. Um, one of the things that I like to say all the time is that you will stay in peace and not in pieces, but also that you will have a good day on purpose. And that happens when you choose your day. So you guys go ahead and um, have a great remaining of the rest of your day. And I will see you guys soon. Be blessed. Bye.